Hey there, I'm Eric, and All Power sent me out this cool flexible panel. This is a 100 watt flexible panel. I love these panels. I've already used their 200 watt version. I love it. So when they reached out to me to review this 100 watt version of it, I was I was ecstatic. I was I was very excited. I was jumping for joy. It's a good word. I was very excited to review it. These aren't built on like some of the other cheap flexible solar panels out there. But why did he pick the pickle? He don't know because Peter Piper picked the pickle. Mark test. Yeah, it's working. All right, let's see. The All Power Flexible Solar Panel Series comes in this really nice box. It's like an inch and a half thick there. And pretty much most of it's foam because, well, it's a flexible panel and it's not, not all that thick. They have it packed very well in here. The odds of it getting any kind of damage are very low. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely perfect. Not a, not a scratch, a nick, anything on it. Even after the abuse of the shipping company. Also got this accessories bag here, which comes with... MC4 connectors to, looks like a XT60 connector there, which will plug into quite a few different generators. And then they have these straps here, which these are very convenient for if you gotta hang it on the side of something. They pretty much just go through these hoops here and then you can latch it onto something. And these eyelets are very strong. I mean, the, the whole system is built very heavy duty. Oh, these are the foam got stuck to it. Nice. And of course, these are flexible panels. I do not recommend doing this, but they will bend a pretty good arch around anything and you don't hear any of that crackling or anything going on. Once again, I do not recommend actually flexing them all that much other than getting them into their install position. You could be over the side of like a round van or something, but yeah, I don't, I don't recommend playing with them all that much. Also don't recommend putting pressure down on one area that could also cause damage to the panel. And for the specs, this panel is a hundred watt maximum output plus or minus 5%. And I'll tell you this much from what I've seen on the 200 watt version, it can go over a hundred watts easy. It has a open voltage, 30.6 volts. Nice. It's actually got a nice high voltage off of it. I actually like that. It makes everything real efficient in the transmission. You don't need as fat of wires when you have a higher voltage. It can push 4.2. Five eight amps. It uh, looks like up to series it can hold do up to 120 volts. That's quite nice there. So they definitely have pretty good connectors in there to be able to make that kind of voltage. And then the maximum conversion rate of it is 22 to 25 percent, which is fairly high for the market. And it has a water resistant rating of IP68. Pretty much you could dunk this thing into water up to the control box. The control box, you could sprinkle water over it, and no problem. One of the things that is pretty cool about these panels is they got this rigid design on them where they got these bumps. When it sits flat, the sun comes in and it still captures quite a bit. Uh, even at an angle, I've got over 75% production off of the 200 watt version of it. This is my basic test rig here. I'm going to hook the panel out all day and I'm going to get some stats off of it. It's going to connect first into these MC4 connectors. From there, it connects into my meter. From the meter, it goes into this Jenison charge controller. And this is made just for these 48 volt. Uh, well, I originally got them as e-bike batteries, but I use them as all kinds of different things. Okay, yeah, and the meter will allow me to get the uh, highest wattage that the thing pulls in the whole day, so I can see the top performance. We'll also see total amps and everything like that performed out throughout the day. Panel also comes with a two-year warranty.
All right, I brought all the test equipment and battery over here on the patio. We get quite hot up over way over 105 Fahrenheit lately. So I'm going to keep it at least in the shade. So now I just wait for a whole day to go by. Well, it's got to be the next day. And then for the test results sometime around this time, I'll be able to pull them again. I went ahead and cooled the panel down with some water. It is waterproof rated up to IP68, so it'll be all right. Well, I could submerge the whole bottom of the panel as long as I didn't get the electrical box and the connections totally submerged, it would be fine. And here are the final stats for the solar panel. Looks like I charged 488 watts. And I got 87.8 as its total watt power got off of it. So. 88, 88% out of a, of a hundred panel. I mean, that's, it's not too bad. 88%. Yep. Yeah. Duh. Let's do basic math. That's definitely good performance off these flexible panels or any hundred watt panel for that matter. This is one of the better flexible solar panels that is out there. If you use my link when purchasing these, which is down below, that helps me out quite a bit. And I also have a coupon code ET10, and that can save you 10%, which I think right now drops this uh, down to like almost $90, which is pretty much a steal at that price. So thanks for watching. Until next time, you ain't dead until you're dead. But why did he pick the pickle? He no no cause. But why did he pick the pickle? He no no cause. Peter Piper picked the pickle. But why did he pick the pickle? He no no cause. But why did he pick the pickle? He no no.